Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So this is the last piece or multiple pieces that I was waiting for for my whole entire brake refresh. Um, just to kind of recap of what I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm currently changing the brakes on my 2017 STI. I have 32,000 miles on the OEM rotors and pads. Uh, the rotors don't need to be replaced, but you know, it's getting to that point where I said, hey, I'm going to replace the pads anyway. Might as well do something a little bit nicer, a little bit, I guess, cooler. <laughs> um, since I'm going through the work, you know, might as well uh, upgrade to something a little bit better. I'm also waiting on some brake fluid. I'm going with ATE 200. I'm going to be doing a full bleed of the system and putting some new, better uh, brake fluid into the system. I'm not going to be doing it the same day that I install these. I'm actually going to be doing it on a later date. Um, I'm going to my buddy's house who's going to help me out because it's way easier bleeding brakes with two people. Uh, and he's done it a million times and you know it goes a lot faster with somebody that knows what they're doing. I personally have blood brakes myself. Um, you know, it's not hard, but it's just time consuming when you're by yourself. So uh, I'm gonna be doing that with a friend of mine uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, but this is what we're looking at right now. Obviously you can tell what, you know, rotors I went with. Uh, if you guys are interested in a more in-depth unboxing of these pads, which are the Hawk Street 5.0 pads, uh, I'll link the video in the top right corner for you guys. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna be talking about the rotors that I decided to go with. Now. Obviously you can tell that I went with DBAs. Um, there's a lot of different versions of these, um, but I ultimately ended up going with the T3 4000 series. Um, why did I go with the T3 4000 series? No you know, specific reason, I just like the way they look. Uh, I got some great reviews on these, a lot of great feedback. People told me to go with these. They also have the T2 series, which is I guess a lower grade, which is more than capable for what I use the car for, which is a daily driven car. Uh, but I decided to kind of step it up and do something a little bit nicer. I was even thinking about going with the 5000 series, which is the fronts are two piece, which are really, really nice. I kind of drew the line for myself. I said, you know what? It's so easy to get out of hand with brakes and you know, anything for that matter. Uh, but I always have that line that I'm, I'm kind of teetering on saying, you know, okay, be a little bit rational. Don't do don't go too crazy. Don't make it ridiculous because it is a daily driver. I don't want something that is dedicated to tracking where you have to you know, warm the rotors and pads up and everything. You know, you'll be squeaking and, and squealing everywhere you go. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible, yet doing a, a, you know, a worthwhile upgrade. Um, so like I said, I went with the DBA T3 4000 series rotors. Uh, I got all of this from KNS Brakes. They were super awesome. I dealt with Ken, who is the owner. Uh, really, really helpful. He kind of talked me through all the different setups and different pads and you know what I should go with. And ultimately we kind of decided on this package. Uh, so huge shout out to KNS. I ordered this on Friday uh, and I ended up getting them on Wednesday or the rotors at least. I got the pads uh, yesterday on Tuesday. Got here very quickly. Obviously we had the factor in the weekend. Um, so they really didn't ship until Monday. So they got to me in two days, which is awesome. You know, I got everything that I was looking for, everything very quickly, very professional company KNS. They were, they were great to deal with. So I have no hesitation that I would deal with them again. So let's open them up, go over the details of them and why why I personally decided to go with them and why I thought they're perfect for my application of my STI. So upon opening them up, obviously they come in, you know, a bigger box altogether when they're shipped, but I took them out just for the sake of the video. Uh, and what you see is get a nice decal if you wanted to, you know, use it anywhere. Um, we also got a rotor fitment guide. One thing that I'm going to go over and one of the really cool features about the 4000 and 5000 series rotors are the temperature colors on the actual rotor. Something that I don't think I'll need on the street, well I know I won't need on the street, but is a really cool feature that I don't think any other rotor company has. Um, so I'll go over that in a second, but these are the rears, much smaller. Uh, the, the rears are pretty massive. Heavy boys, <laughs> uh, but really, really nice. Ugh. All right, so taking them out of the package, you can see a really, really nice finish on the hubs. Um, I'm really hoping that these hold up, you know, because the stock ones, they get so rusty and gross over time. Um, but these look nicely finished. The, the OEM ones are just, I don't think they have any finish on them at all. It's just metal and they get rusty very quickly, um, especially, you know, in the winter months and everything over time, that just happens. I expect that to happen with these eventually, but I, I, I assume that these will, you know, hold up much better over time. Um, so they are slotted. They do have a slotted end drilled version um, and they have a gold hub, which I was kind of considering as well, just because 
I thought it looked kind of cool. <laughs> uh, there's no reason other than just for looks. If you're looking for the best performance, slotted is the best way to go, simply because it allows uh, the composites and any debris to escape as well as any gases and air and everything. It helps cool the brakes much faster than if you just had blanks. Uh, drilled looks really cool. I actually prefer the look of drilled rotors, but they're very prone to cracking because literally it's a hole through the rotor. What happens when they heat cycle and just get used over and over, especially if you have to track and just, you know, beating on them, uh, the space between the two holes or the two drill marks actually can crack. Um, and that's no good. Once the rotors crack, they're done. Uh, and I didn't want to deal with that. Granted, the car is a street driven car. I'm not going to be dealing with any crazy heat cycling or anything like that. I thought the gold hub was just a little too much. Um, it is a little bit more blingy, but my car is pretty subdued in terms of, you know, it's not too flashy. Obviously the giant wing is a, you know, I guess you can call that flashy, but, um, you know, I don't have any crazy colors on it or anything. It's, it's pretty simple. So I decided just to stick to the, uh, T3 4000 series. Super nice. I mean, you can tell just by looking at these, the quality of them. If you look on the back, Super nice. Um, and one of the cool features about the 4000 series as well as the 5000, as I was talking about, are these colors up here. And what those colors actually do is it allows you to show you what temperature the rotors have heated up to. Now these are gonna be in Celsius. I'm not gonna, I can't convert them off the top of my head. But basically if you see kind of a green color around it, you're at 458 degrees Celsius, orange color, 550 degrees Celsius. And then if you see a red kind of ring around the, the edge of it, uh, you're looking at 630 degrees Celsius. The good thing about that is you can kind of see just, you know, what your rotors were heating up to. So you know exactly the temperatures, if you're on the brakes too much. Um, it, it's a really cool feature that I don't, I don't, I think DB, I don't know if they have that trademark or what, uh, but I thought that was pretty cool. Again, street driven STI, I'm not going to be tracking it. So it is overkill, but I thought it was a really cool thing to have. And I'm curious to see if you know, any spirited driving that I do, if, if I'm going to see any of those colors, if I do, it's probably only going to be the green, which is 458 degrees Celsius. So here's a little bit closer. These things are heavy. <laughs> uh, the fronts are way heavier. I almost broke my back bringing these from the, uh, the porch to the garage. <laughs> One of the packages I think was 45 or 50 pounds. You know, that's not heavy, but it was really awkward to carry and I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, really nice, super quality. I can't wait to get these things on. Um, and plus it's going to look really good behind the wheels. I think, you know, one of the things about going with slotted personally, I, I just, you know, seeing that there is something done to it a little bit aftermarket as opposed to just the blank rotors, um, you know, that excites me and being able to see that is just one of those things that I guess is just going to make it that much better when I do put these on the car. So again, this is, this is the same exact one. These are the rears. Let's show you a front just to kind of give you an idea just how much bigger these actually are. This is the front. Again, it's the same concept, same looking rotor, but it's just much bigger because it's a bigger uh, break up front. Again, super heavy. These are big boys too, even bigger. Oh my goodness. Now, if you have the 2018 brakes, obviously these are going to be bigger. Um, so I forget the actual size of the stock stock rotors, you know, and also the 2018 rotors, but 2018s are much bigger, obviously. It's got the same color markings on there, so it's going to show the uh, the color of the ring around the actual rotor at the top when it heats up. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you actual detail or being able to see inside of there, but you can see the, uh, the vents in there, the cooling system. You can kind of see them in the bottom down here, um, but it allows the air to escape through and just cool the rotors much faster than the OEM. You know, when I go into install these, I'm actually going to compare the OEM rotors to these, uh, just so you can see the difference, just how much higher quality and better these are. Obviously the, the stock ones are just blanks. They don't have slots or anything like that. So it is gonna look physically different, uh, but overall you're just gonna see how much better these are made, how much better quality. I mean, I'll be able to tell obviously, cause I'm, you know, holding them and feeling them in person, but, uh, really happy with these. These look really, really cool, really nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing this whole entire brake refresh. You know, some some people will say it's overkill, um, and I even think it's a little overkill, but, uh, you know, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right, and that's kind of the approach that I did with this entire car. I said if I'm going to modify anything on the car, if I'm going to change anything, I'm going to make sure I'm going to do what I want and make sure I do it right. Um, cause I, you know, in the past I've done things that maybe I wasn't a hundred percent on. I was just kind of doing them just to do them. Um, and then ultimately I ended up selling that off, buying new things. You know, it ends up costing you more money in the, in the long run. Um, you know, kind of finding your way to what you initially wanted. So what I did was I said, screw it. 
let me just get exactly what I want and you know and I'll be done with it I'll be happy with the upgrade um, and I can just move on to the next thing so be sure to stay tuned for the install of this entire brake package like I said I am getting some brake fluid as well not that you really need to see that or I need to make a video on it but I will go over it in my brake bleed video once I once I get that done but I'm going to be doing a full install of this this whole entire package rotors and pads I'm going to show you how to do the whole bedding process, how to properly bed in new rotors and pads. Um, you know, a lot of people forget that step and then they ask why they squeak and squeal and they're making so much noise and they're just not breaking right. So doing a proper bedding break-in procedure is extremely important and it's something that a lot of people forget to do or maybe they don't even know that they have to do it. So. I'm going to go over that in a separate video as well, so stay tuned. hope you guys are excited to watch the install as well as my review and, and all the other videos I plan to do with these. Um, I know this is not very exciting. You no, know, it's just a metal circle and some brake pads. But to me, this is a big deal. This is fun stuff. I enjoy doing this, um, and I think a lot of you that follow me and watch my channel, uh, I think you guys enjoy this stuff too. So anything that I do to this car, I'm not doing it for clout. I'm not doing it for fame. I'm not doing it for views or anything like that. I am purely building and creating this car for myself. I would be doing this by myself in the garage, whether I had a camera there or not. Um, but I decided to just put up a camera, talk my way through it and put it on YouTube. And you now here we are. Um, so that is one thing that kind of differentiates me between others. You know, I'm not sponsored. I'm not just putting things on the car because that's the thing to do. Um, you know, that's not my style and that's not what I intend on doing with my cars. These rotors, I wanted them. Those pads, I wanted them. I paid for them, um, you know, and that's just what it came down to. So and I hope you guys can understand that I am a true car enthusiast. I'm just somebody in the garage doing what they love, you know, on the side. Um, obviously this is not what I do for a living. This is just purely a hobby. So I think you guys can relate and can appreciate that. So that is it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask them below. I'll be more than happy to answer because there's a lot of stuff that can go on, a lot of different options for brake, uh, you know, rotors and pads and everything like that. But yeah, in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.